So hello everybody and welcome to another DAX Friday. See, in today's DAX Fridays, we're going to I'm going to show you how to create allocation tables for payments, orders, commissions, whatever you want. The, the, the technique is the same for anything. So I showed you how to do it, this in Power Query on Tuesday. Today, DAX. Let's get started. Okay, guys, we're using the same data so you can follow along. We have a table that has um, where are you? Order number, order date, ship date, and the amount. Okay. And what we want to do is create a table that contains dates between these two dates with the correct amount that the total will be 11,000 for, for example, order two. Okay. So I'm going to do it in steps so you can actually, as always, see what's going on. The first thing that we're going to do that we're not going to use at all, but I want you to see is to calculate the name, the number of days between order date and ship date. We're going to do it now as a calculated column, but this will not be used like this. Just so you can see how it works, then we will copy paste it where it belongs. So days. To calculate the number of days between two dates, you have something called a date diff. And you grab the first date, order date, and you grab the, you grab the second date, which is ship date. And then you say, okay, I want it in days, the number of days, the number of months, the number of seconds. In this case, we want to have the number of days. Press enter. And date div is the same as with Power Query. You, if you saw on Tuesday, you know this. It doesn't include the last date. So in order for us to have the total number of days, we need to add a plus one in here, right? So we're going to use these elsewhere, but I just wanted to show you this so you can see how that works. Now, let's go to table tools and create a new table. And this is where we're going to create our allocation table. We're going to go to table tools and create a new table. And we're going to call it allocation orders. Shift enter. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you actually see something. Um, now, how do you create allocation tables? We are going to use a function called generate. So what generate does is it you put one table, the first table, and it will go through each of the rows of the first table or the table on the first argument, and then it will do whatever you want from the second table. Is going to make more sense with the example as always. So generate, shift enter. Now, the first table is going to be our orders table, which is order stacks. Okay. So it says grab the first table and for each row of that table, do the following. We're going to do dates between order DAX. This is our table. Oh, no, sorry. Dates between calendar date. And then this is the order date and the shipment date. So what is it? Let's pause for a second now. What this what is this second part doing? It's saying, okay, create a table between the order date and the shipment date table of dates and to do that use the calendar table because it's the one that has continuous dates date time intelligence functions need continuous dates and the calendar has it so it will go and it will go from order date to shipment date and it will create a table with the dates in between using the calendar beautiful so the generate if we put everything together it will go generate it will go first row of the order date and then you will go and fill in for the second table that is going to be fed to generate is going to be the dates between and then you will fill it in. Now you're going to see in action. Look. Beautiful, right? So you see here O2, order 2 is between the 30th of June to the 6th of July and then you have the dates in between. Gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. But we don't want this. We don't want all of these columns. What it does is it returns all the columns from uh, order DAX for the order table, and then it gives us a date column 
and that's fine, but that's not what we want. What we want is to select the columns, right? So we want to have some of the columns and we want to do some calculations because we need to have the calculation between amount and days, right? So how do we do this? What we're going to do is use the function called select columns. We wanted to select columns, select columns. Some of the DAX functions names are just beautiful, would we'll say. We're not going to use these days that we generated in here. We're actually going to calculate it on the fly. Just telling you. Uh, so we're going to select columns. So select columns first gets a table. The table is the generate, the these table that you see here that got generated. And from that table, we want to do, we want to cherry pick whatever we want. And we want to have order number. I have a new computer, so I, I don't find the keys yet. Order number. And then that is going to be the order number. Right? And then we want to have our date, the date that got generated. Date. Which is the calendar date. Right? And then we want to have the, the amount, but we want to have the amount divided by the number of days. So we want to have the amount per day. And we need to calculate this on the fly. So the amount, sorry, we need to have it in quotation marks because it is text. The amount is going to be divide, what? The amount, amount by the number of days. So. We just calculated the number of days up here, right? So here. So this is the one that we want. And we're going to get rid of it. We're going to copy and get rid of it to show you that it's actually calculating correctly. So get rid of that. Delete, delete, delete. Where are you? Delete columns, yes. It's going to get deleted from here too. And divide that by the number of days, which is that one. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. It works beautifully. You can see the date is not there anymore. We're going to now grab dates, make it a state. We don't want a date time. And we're going to put it in a format that we can read. There you go. Now we're going to check, 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 check your tax measures. Always, always. You never know. So I'm going to put my order number. I'm going to put my amount. And it looks that you did it correctly. Zero. To be sure, I have the, the original order there. You can put it in there just to make sure that it looks good. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's do the Gantt chart that we did on Tuesday too. I'm going to put the date in there. And I'm going to do the matrix so you can see if I move this, you can see that things got allocated beautifully, right? You can see the allocation working very, very well. And now you tell me, Ruth, great, but I don't want to have it by day. I want to have it by month. I want to display it by month because it's even easier to see how do you do that. The same way as we did on Tuesday with Power Query, which is you go back to the relationship table, you grab the allocation orders, and then you go date to date. You create a relationship between them. And then you go into your matrix, you put order number up there, get rid of that one, you put your year month, and then that's it, that you're good to go. If you want to create the Gantt chart visual that we did on Tuesday, in case you haven't seen it, you go to background colors, and you select the same color for the highest and lowest values, and then the trick is here to have grayed out the ones that does not have any values. And there you have our Gantt chart with orders. It could be with tasks. It could be with payments. It could be with anything. And if you don't want to see the numbers, just condition format the font too. And then you're good to go. Okay. Now, this, table, this video is getting uh, long. So I'm going to stop here. But on the next Tax Fridays video, I am actually going to show you because you might tell me, hey, that's great, but if I am going to visualize the data by month, why do I need to generate this by date? Can I just generate this by month, this table? And that's exactly what we're going to do, but not today because it will make it too long. So 
enjoy your, not weekend because we still have Friday left, but enjoy your Thursday and I will see you again on Tuesday next week with another Power BI video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.